This is a 2020 Super 73 RX EU edition. And today I'm gonna go through it, show you guys the entire bike. I'm gonna show you all the different quirks and features, Doug Miro style. Show you guys how certain things work, how the different uh, modes work here with the power levels. Go through the different EU specs, all the different uh, changes done to the EU specs to make it legal here for the EU. At the end of the review, we'll take this thing for a ride. As you guys can see, 2020 Super 73 RX EU edition. We have here this 10 speed Shimano Z. 10 speed Shimano Z. So, in the United States, what you guys get instead, right? You guys have seen the other videos. The US riders are riding around on single speeds. Right? So, in the US, you have a single speed instead of a 10 speed here. And then, as well, too, in the United States, they use here a throttle. Instead of, say, um, here we have here the up and down shifters here for the Shimano Z. So, that's one main huge difference between the EU spec and the US spec is here the shifting mechanism right because here in the EU mode one is the EU legal 25 km an hour pedal assist mode so for that for the 36 kilo bike which is about 80 pounds definitely having a shifter is helping having a single speed would be a little bit tricky yeah, so as you can see here the Shimano Z derailleur uh, but this Shimano down 10 speed paired here with the Super 73 motor so it's all encased here in the rear all your power train is here in the rear it has this nice piggyback reservoir shock paired together with this upside down front suspension air shocks the left is the springiness this is the rebound how quickly it's coming back up to you it's still stocked right now so it's fine i like it the way it is it's fine again i'm uh i'm 179 by five the 511 in us the metric system 179 centimeters here in europe So in the EU, as well as what they give us, are these Magura brakes here. So they're four pot, four pot hydraulic brakes from Magura. They are in Germany, which is pretty cool. So they give us nice German brakes here in the EU. Magura 5E's in the front, as well as four pot, which are really nice. Really good stopping power. Nice. So here then you have the actual controller here. 5e Magora e-bike brakes really nice they accentuate nice they work nice the Shimano Dior shifter here so you have the Shimano Dior shifter paired with the Shimano Z derailleur Shimano Dior ten, uh, 10 speed that's really nice and then you have these nice Magora e-brakes what's special about here is you see you have here the so you have the hydraulic brakes here's the oil hydraulic brakes brake cable right top that you have this electronic cable here boom boom ele electronic both sides and that's cutting off power from the motor when you hit the brakes which is in smart bike operation Super 73 EU RX edition. We'll go through now a little bit of the operations here of how this thing works. What you need is the key. Goes here inside the battery. Flip it. Nest, boom. You have the battery off. Come down, don't need, don't need the key. The key is just to unlock it. When you put it in the battery, center it up. Kind of feel it going into the channel there front push it in you hit lock and boom so it's ready to rock and roll so now it's just a matter of turning it on the startup screen here percent through logo defaults to speed boom so once you're in speed 
always goes back to default mode one smart so mode three four as you go right so you can change the actual speed modes we're still on the eu legal mode one or we'll stay in that mode which is the 25 km an hour which is the 25 km an hour range and turn on the lights you have the up button just hold it up the light turns on you see it's already on here see here it's already on so turn it off Oh, pretty basic right you know but that's the basic functionality of the electronics on the bike really smart as well too this rear brake but then if you press in the brake it actually activates the brake which is pretty cool a nice touch so percent three on the tires that's also a nice quirk a nice feature of the bike with having the super seven three logo on there really nice <coughs> Yeah, what else is there to show you guys? Super 73 EU edition out here at the Carl Zeiss Museum. Showing you guys all the different little features, all the different quirks of the bike. I've already swapped out the pedals out of these things. May do an accessory video, or maybe there's already one out. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. But for right now, there is. The new pedals on there i swapped those out but the only change i made as well too of course the cell phone holder and my gopro mount i think i might change even these with a little bit more on the side but it's fine at least it's a nice really nice feature that they have this bar on there kind of like a bmx bar but then you can really uh mount stuff to it it's smart yeah so far it's been a really nice ride 76 kilometers on the 2020 Super 73 RX EU edition, olive drab. So a little bit about the ordering process. I ordered on May 27th, 2020. Received it October 12th, 2020. Roughly about what, like 138 days later. So it was definitely a long wait, but well worth the wait. My first e-bike. And of course in the EU you have these reflectors on there. The one thing I noticed which is different, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, one little quirk I found was that the Super 73 sticker here on the front fork is different than the one that they show you on the website. But that's okay because the one on the website is still the US version. That's as well showing you the single speed. So maybe just the versions of the bike are a little bit different. I know that the S2, if you guys have an S2, you, can, you guys can confirm. But I believe that the S2 has a different fender than what is offered or at least they have a different fender than what is pictured it's still a really functional fender from what I've seen but if you have an S2 let me know what you guys think of that rear fender how is it right now so yeah let's go and turn this thing off so just press the power button boom that sucker's turned off yeah So as well too what they provide you here is a nice bash plate mud guard i think that's plastic feels like plastic yeah so plastic as well too here the rear hugger this is well plastic if anybody makes any sort of carbon fiber rear hugger or bash plate here for the front or even here for the underside let me know so another quirk as you see here is that we have the horn the horn is mounted to the underside here see if i guys can show you guys better where the horn is mounted the horn is mounted here to the underside of the bike yeah nice 2020 super 73 rx eu edition here in berlin the first one in berlin completely stock except for those pedals as i mentioned so we're gonna take this thing for a little test ride see how it feels Maybe show you guys a little bit of that back tire. Show you guys how this uh, gear system works. You know? But yeah, let's see here. So real quick before we do that, you guys can see how it feels. I'm, I'm 1 meter 79, 511. So sitting like this, super comfortable. Okay. You see my legs are bent. They're not stretched, but they're bent. So I think definitely having a little bit of a higher seat will be beneficial. So I have my eyes on a, on a aftermarket seat. And we will be getting to Rad City eventually. You see here the pedal here, so for me pedaling, 
It's a nice angle, a nice leg, a nice leg angle in terms of pedal action here. A nice stretch to the handlebar, which is also nice. So if you want to, you can sit up front here. You can you can you can scoot it forward if you want to like pedal a little bit faster. Or if you want to just take like take a chill cruise ride, you can scoot it a little bit back. So definitely having the seat further back, having a longer seat, I can see for sure it'll be nice, and then you can really ride a little bit more like a cruiser, which is more laid back. You can pull back the handlebars. Who knows, right? You know, you so many different possibilities with this thing. It's super rad. Um, yeah, super rad bike. I already have here a little bar end mirror. Let's get a little bit of bar end shot for you guys. What's up, YouTube? Other than that, what else can I say about it? The grips, stock grips, really nice and grippy, especially having gloves on now with the whole winter time. Let's take this thing for a test ride. Yeah, so riding the 2020 RX with one hand, mode one, power level four, not a problem running in the grass just going around in a circle nice and easy we'll just keep this thing going keep red city moving let's get some more shots for you guys Stone roads, it's okay. Definitely in, in, in comparison to the Van Moof, way more comfortable. The Van Moof, definitely, you could feel. I mean, you had, to, you, had, you had to stand in that, you couldn't sit. Whereas here, RX, I'm sitting. I'm sitting right on cobblestone roads, no problem. Got the camera put on to the 10 speed, so you guys see a little bit of the, the difference of the EU specs in comparison to the American specs with uh, single speed. Let's go ahead and shift some gears here. Number 10th gear. Ninth gear. Eighth gear. Fifth gear. No, barely pedal. Fourth gear. Okay, that's not, that's not good. If I'm going uphill. So you typically just stay in 10th gear. Find that the most comfortable. this thing on pass zero level zero actually what we'll do is i will just turn this thing off so the power here is now turned off completely 10th gear let's see if we can the 10th gear no way so that's not gonna work at all so uphill 10th gear no way let's try to get to here a little bit So, now we are in first, second, third gear. Third gear, okay, third gear, no power. I can pedal. Third gear, no power, off-road. Let's turn this thing around. So third gear, no power, that works. As a pedal bike, to some degree, second gear, yeah, so you need those higher gears in order to be able to pedal this thing with no power. 
not fun but okay so this thing runs out of juice let's see if we can make up this hill here pretty crazy hill here so let's see if we can make up this hill no power pedal 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 all right so i think that passed the test Kinder Super 73 RX be ridden with no power in the EU. I would say yes. So with the mode one, default mode one, the EU vehicle mode one, along with the four different levels of power, along with the 10 speed, you can really address the power delivery how you want. It's really nice. Two different levels of adjustability, power mode, power level, and your gear. So it's a nice little feature. Uh, nice that you're able to really get that power set up to, del to deliver how you want it. Either uh, so four pot. Tektro in the US and Four Pot Magora in the EU. So that was the review of the 2020 Super 73 RX EU edition in the Olive Dread. We went through, did all the different, uh, we went through and checked all the different specifications, like here the 10 speed, the Magora brakes, and as well too to top it off, off as we talked about in the bit in the writing video, is the torque sensor here. If you add it all together with the 10th speed and the torque sensor, it makes for a very comfortable, easy ride here in Europe, pedal assist only. So yeah, in conclusion, definitely I would recommend the Super 73 RX EU edition. It is a special bike and uh, if you get one, um, I promise you'll definitely have fun with it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share and subscribe. If you've got a cool e-bike in Berlin, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll come by and do a review of your bike. And, um, Catch you guys again next time. Stay rad, stay cool, be easy.